How is your paddling lately? Now before you stop watching this video, it's not kayak instruction. Instead, if you already know me, I'm Christine Saxon. If you already know me, you know that paddle your own boat is a metaphor. It's a metaphor for how we move through life, how mindfully, intentionally we do things so that we show up the way that we want to. How well we step into our own power, step into our own agency. Really just bring our best selves forward. It doesn't mean perfect, right? But our best selves. So how is your paddling lately? How are you doing in interpersonal relations? How are you doing in your inner thoughts, your feelings? How are you showing up above the surface of that, that proverbial iceberg? Right? I like metaphors. <laughs> and if you know me, you know that we, I, we talk often and I talk often about the iceberg metaphor, right? Each of us is an iceberg. What you can see above the surface is just the tip and underneath it, there's a lot more going on that's hidden. So I wonder what you know about how your paddling's going and how it's showing up, how it's showing up for other people in your life, other people in your work life, your volunteering, your community work, your family, your friends, you people you bump into in the, with the grocery cart, say, right? Out in public. The reason I ask this is I am a coach. I'm an executive leadership coach. I'm also a consultant and I've been coming into businesses lately, into some really large corporations, into some smaller ones, some startups. And what I'm noticing is we still, as we always will be because we're human, we're still working on our how, right? A lot of us have our what figured out. Here's what I specialize in. Here's what uh, work that I do. Here's what my training was. Um, here's what I'm good at. It's our how, how we navigate through life that, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm working on mine constantly. And so figuring out what it looks like above the surface, figuring out what it looks like above the tip of your, you know, above the water, the tip of your iceberg can be hard because we can't see it ourselves. Um, you know, an example that I have, and it's a, it actually is a paddling example, is uh, years ago when I lived in Regina and was dating my now husband, um, he didn't kayak that much. And I said, hey, let's go out on the lake in Wascana Lake and we can just paddle across to the other side. So I was all being the expert, showing him how to do things. And uh, I said to him, I feel this weird rocking in my boat. Huh, wonder what's going on. And gosh, it's hard to paddle. Hmm, weird. And he goes, oh, okay. Hmm, I don't know. We went a little further and I said, it's almost like there's like this slush, slush going on. It's very strange. Like there's maybe like a fish underneath me or something. And we laughed and, and then he went, well, I don't know a lot about kayaks, but I'm noticing that the back of your kayak is really low. And I kind of said, oh, no, 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 it's a low boat. And I looked behind me and I went, oh my gosh. And folks, I had had the same kayak, my good old orange kayak I call Tangerine for probably 18 years by then and I would drag it around a lot and it turns out I was taken on water. I had drug a hole so from dragging it on various surfaces there was actually a small hole and I was taking on water. The bottom of my boat was almost underwater. I had to pull up on shore, stand there with everyone walking by going you all right you got this? Feeling a little embarrassed and uh, also very amused and realized, yeah, you know what? I wouldn't have known that without him pointing it out. I might have been in trouble without him pointing it out. My paddling was very hard. I noticed that I wasn't going as fast as usual. So, you know, transfer this, this metaphor, this example I just shared to your life. How are you doing in your paddling so far lately? And who do you have that will point things out to you? Who do you have that will say, hey, I noticed this. I think maybe something's going on. I may think maybe you're taking on water. I think maybe you're rescuing. I think maybe you are unaware of your impact. I think maybe you talk more or less than is probably helpful in meetings. I think maybe, right? I've noticed this thing about you and I'm wondering, who do you have that will point out when you're taking on extra water? When you maybe notice some things like I did with my paddling, but you can't see your own behavior, right? We can't see how we are showing up for people. We certainly can't tell how we're impacting other people.
So I invite you to think about who could you ask? Who could be a trusted person who, you know, think of the people that will point it out when you have broccoli in your teeth, okay? Those might be the people that can watch for things. And if you truly want to know, here's something that I recently learned from, from another leader, another uh, consultant. He doesn't call it feedback. And I know it's not just him. Some people call it feed forward. And I love the way when I co-facilitated with this, this wonderful man, I love the way that he brought it to the group and said feedback, because feedback naturally makes us defensive. The neuroscientists show that our brain reacts to feedback in a negative way as soon as we hear the word. It's actually a trigger and part of our brain activity changes. So he refers to it as feed forward. So rather than, I'll use a kayaking example, rather than saying, hey, you know, you weren't going very fast there, but I noticed you were paddling with your oars upside down. That can feel a little embarrassing. If instead you'd say, hey, try flipping your oars the other way and see how fast you go. That's feed forward. It's not about let's look back and critique what you didn't do well. It's about, hey, here's something I noticed. I wonder if it can help you next time. So feed forward in the corporate setting, in a whole variety of settings, anything where you're working with other people, can be so helpful because they can see when your kayak is filling with water. They can see things that you can't necessarily notice. Like for example, I think you can't see my eyes anymore because I turned and I'm in the sun. But I don't know how impactful that is. Right? We can only see what's visible to ourselves. So without other people, really, we are paddling out here alone as I am right now. I encourage you to ask for that feed forward to let people know, hey, here are the things in paddling my own boat that I'm working on, right? You might be working on being more assertive, on not interrupting, which some of you know is something that I've worked on and continue to. You might be working on um, your presentation skills, on um, empathy, on validating and holding space for people and just listening well. Well, if you have a committed partner or a few that will tell you, hey, I noticed that next time you could possibly ask more questions. Or, hey, next time maybe you could do the presentation in a louder voice, right? Just using some examples there. That feed forward and that noticing by other people can just be a gift. So, happy paddling in the uh, most real sense of the word because if you can work every day a little bit on your paddling, on your own sense of self, your personal agency, doing things how you want to and showing up the way you want to, you're just going to paddle with, with more, uh, more verve, right? More, more pep and uh, probably enjoy the journey more. Happy paddling.